There we go, Samuel and Pip. I've leveled up. Huh? Damn! I didn't expect that I did that to the two of them. Whoops. My, how time flies. Is it already time of the year when you purchase a variety of bespoke disguises for your various schemes and pranks? It is. Oh. What are we uh, interested in this season? An alter ego, simple camouflage, or sheer drama? I can do any combination of the three. Hmm, depends on the scheme. I like having options, you know? Let me see what you got. Mm. Ah, options. Musical to a music to a fashion mogul's ears. Let us browse these designs and see what tickles your whipple. So Regis and Jacqueline produces a folio entitled Fun Little Outfits for Fun Little Friend for a Fun Little Friend and flips the first design. This one's amazing, I'm already envisioning my new identity. What do you call it? I call it Design One, built for Gallivanting and for imperviousness to the elements. The oiled silk hood is mysterious, practical, and protective against per precipitation and errant fluids. So let me get this all straight. Fashionable, yet practical, and beverage proof. Pip breaks out a journal and begins furiously scribbling notes she brainstorms out loud. That's the outfit of Drip Sipple! Meteorologist and heir to the simple soft drink fortune. Trip was born across a pond in a steamy, sexy hurricane ridden Florida, but raised on the floor of an English beverage factory. Life in <laughs> life in high humidity gave Drip a passion for both accurate meteorology and intense personal hydration. Lower Boyan citizen, Drip occasionally roams the midnight uh, London streets to read the air. Pressure and wind speed. Air yeah, pressure and speed. The uh, perfect cover. Okay, now design two. I do enjoy this disguise, very sporty. Leather gauntlets and protective goggles for high speeds and for concealing our identity, all topped with a jaunty cap. What do we think? Yes, yes! Flip Zipple! A daredevil stunt performer who doesn't give a dink about donk. Flip Zipple was the most highly regarded stunt jockey in the known world until the birth of the Zipple twins put life on a different track. Now a devote parent, Flip is satisfied in a way that not even the fastest, most daring stunt could provide. All this is left of Flip's career are these gauntlets and goals, but the spirit of adventure will always remain. Does this mean you like it? I sure do, mind me down for an extra set of gauntlets though. I go through the gauntlets like nobody's business. Destroy as many gauntlets as you wish. What matters to me most is that you look adorable in that red scarf. <gasps> this next one might just be my favourite yet. Tell me everything about this disguise. Design 3 is uh, an understated outfit for maintaining a low profile. <laughs> Note the drab olive collar, the leg of mutton sleeves, and the wide brimmed hat topped with only Two ostrich plumes for maximum discretion. <laughs> Only two, huh? Chip Pickle, founder and proprietor of Pickle Sandwiches. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and sit back and relax and let you do whatever it is that you need to do right now. Hello, <laughs> Sandwich Monger and the Hippolyta Society. Chip Pickle is soon to marry the local mayonnaise magnet. Until Chip meets the magnet's passionate in the strange sibling and begins an illicit, uh, illicit trust. Getting illicit trust is an excellent cover for any sneaking around the dark I might need to do. I'll uh, oh. take it. Whatever chips your pickle, my rambunctious friend and client. Now we've come to the favourite of the bunch, Design 4. This one comes with its own pre-built backstory, if that's alright with you. Trip Ripple, explorer, singer, oceanographer, and a luxury call of the air. They rushed it over their head fair so thick it could clog the sewers of London, his silver tongue and golden tresses launched him into fashion stardom. In his downtime he tracks his naughty beast from distant from distant locales, yet he seeks no trophies. He is a collector of the finest calibre. Trip Ripple, intriguing, irresistible, and dare I say it, 
The greatest ensemble I have ever assembled. Huh? You love it, of course. Shall I put you down for three and kiss the first two out? Eh, I think it's just okay. Your inadequate praise of my personal creation is indefensible, and I won't stand for it. I'm sorry, Sammy, it's just... Trip just isn't all that convincing of a character. How did you trip me a hunter and an explorer while simultaneously running a fashion empire? Who has the time? Him! <laughs> it was obviously a self-insert, Pip. But, but... A big game hunter who'd rather befriend a beast than mount its head on over the mantle? Just seems unseemly. Unlikely? And these clothes are too flashy to bring out the expedition. Why would someone like Flip put these fine goods in danger? One simply must move with the finesse of a semi-professional dancer. It's very easy, given enough practice. Most of the thing is practical. Where's the realism? It's me! Flip is clearly based on me. The realism is derived from actual reality. Exactly. There's only one of you. No one else could pull this off. Not even a massive self like me. Aw, oh, Pip. Your extreme weight design may have bruised my ego, but your kind words have recovered it from the infirmary. Thank you. Let's see what can be done here. Why don't we make a few adjustments? Here we are! Design for the sequel! What do you think? This is exactly what I needed. Yes! I can see it now. Design for what's it known as Dick Bipple. Then I must remind you that I charge by the hour. And from this point onward, I will be te uh, tacking on a complicated backstory tax. Then, so much to say, I'll take it. <laughs> uh.